racing marble needs control. A racing marble needs agility. A racing marble needs intelligence. But most of all, a racing marble needs speed. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan and welcome to Tryout Race 2 of Season 3 here at Full Tilt Tests Park. And as you can see by the pan over the track, things will get fast here on the course. Heat A getting started here. Accidental Genius in there. Blue Falcon as well. They'll get going. And as you can see, the pinball piece that we uh, all talked about last time is actually not a part of this track. It just joins in right from the start. And then it's pretty clear and clean racing besides. We back to the marble booster, so things will be fast. The highway is in there for spreading apart. And, uh, well, already we're done with a lap here as Accidental Genius taking charge early on is going to come across and go into lap two. This course is has the big booster, has a bunch of standard corners, it has three banked corners, one Muller corner, and a, of course the single start line that has been introduced new to season three. 17 second average lap times. That's a lot faster than last time by about 10 seconds or more. So again, this is a test of speed. You have a lot of long straights and um, going to test your ability to accelerate out there and use the corners and then even the marble booster to your advantage here. Got that giant muller corner that uh, crests over 180 degrees, more than a hairpin even. And uh, this one should be a wild one. If you guys remember from last time, Sea Falcon, Limeline, and Blue Creeper are our current top three. But, uh, you know, Accidental Genius in there as well up there a little bit Arjun still has a lot of work to do to get up there he's uh seating about just past 10th place so um definitely looking for them to perform today especially being veterans Blue Falcon also within the top 10 and of course Blue Creeper is in there right now in fourth and uh he hopefully will climb up there and get back towards the lead there he goes right as I say it right as I uh talk about it he's uh he's up there moving towards third place but accidental genius and it's falling back to second place here as we get to a lap seven already a little bit of an intro toward this uh, course i give you and uh this first heat is almost finished blue falcon in the lead over accidental genius arjun right behind and blue creeper sitting still in fourth remember he's doing quite well in the standing so we can afford to have a fourth here if that's where he's gonna round out but um um, you know, obviously not enough tryouts to be uh, complacent too long. Blue Falcon, huge lead as we head towards the final round here at the Muller Corner. Lap 8, and it looks like Blue Falcon's going to put this one away. I think that's Arjun coming up right behind. There we go. Accidental Genius pulling in third, and things start pretty well for these two veterans. And we'll continue to let the rest of them finish. I think that's going to be Red Ice down in, yeah, there we go, 13th place. Um, who just really couldn't uh, seem to <laughs> gain any speed here. Look at that, 250 as opposed to 231 range between the times. That's a 20-second difference. Lou Falcon off to a good start. He's 11th right now, just outside the top 10. So that's going to be big for him. Here we go, next heat of 13. There will be uh, four heats today, 53 marbles, 13, 13, 13, 14. Heat B on the way, lights are on, and we are rolling. And who will get out to an early lead? <laughs> Bubbles was there for a second, but I think it's going to be Rainbow Racer. Good to see him back. So dominant in the first uh, performance that he came out with. Uh, let's try to get a look at uh, where he is in the standings here. Um... Actually, it's hard to get a read on him. He's actually down in 15th. That is unfortunate. And it's not because he didn't perform well in his heat, but his heat was actually slow overall. And so even, even with the win that he showed, the performance he put on, he actually has a lot of work to do if he wants to get back to uh, um, you know into a top 10 or even a top 2 spot if he's looking for championship league. Right now, it's Gold Rush who rushes to a lead here. Up the marble booster he goes, and he has... Quite the gap on Rainbow Racer. Right behind is Frost Flame, who we saw in last season, followed by Heathen and Green Elizabeth, who 
Well, now switches with Heathen. Remember, she came kind of came out of nowhere at the end of last race to slot in at about fourth. So, we're getting used to all the marbles here. A lot of new marbles, a lot of rookies. Gold Rush Rainbow Racer being two of them. And it is um, a lot to take in, but... Uh, Try to stay focused on the ones who really who do have a chance here. Gold Rush and Rainbow Razor, both with a chance to qualify. Um, and both putting on another good show so far in this one. We're up to lap five here. Like I said, a quick course. And it looks like Gold Rush is maintaining a lead. Look at that camera. Stayed on the marble booster for a little bit and already has to pan dip pretty much right back to it to keep up with the speed of these marbles. Down the highway he goes. Big lead coming from Gold Rush here. Rainbow Racer looking to gain some ground here up to about four lengths between them and less. Gold Rush might overlap Golden Hawk here. And inside line, Muller Corner, defensive driving from Golden Hawk. Rainbow Racer almost takes advantage and gets around on the outside. And now Gold Rush does actually get around, followed by... Um, Rainbow Racer, who both uh, threw the Marble Booster, put things away there. And now we head through lap 7. Coming into the final lap here, it's Gold Rush by a few lengths. Rainbow Racer's gonna have to pick it up here. The time, the benchmark time from first place was about 2.31 in the first heat. How is it gonna look this heat? Maybe even less. 20 seconds to beat out. No, 10 seconds now. Rainbow Racer closing that gap quickly in the Muller corner. How will it look through here? They both take middle line. Rainbow Racer on the inside and doesn't have time to catch up. He will be a second shy. And you see the time split. Uh, one tenth of a second there, but two tenths even. And in Heat B, Gold Rush and Rainbow Racer come out just a little bit stronger than Blue Falcon. And you see your top three in the top left. Glory down in ninth. Worth mentioning. Flash Fire sixth. Frost Flame fourth. Green Elizabeth actually manages to stay up in third, so... Maybe she's going to be a dark horse in this one. But again, Golden Hawk, as slow as can be, down in 13th. And it doesn't look like he'll have much of a chance <laughs> to get those top two spots. Heat B results, as you can see, best time so far, 230.7. And now we head to the next heat. Heat C, Limeline in there, Make Swift in there. Marbles to look out for. Also, Luminous MC. I'd like to see something good. Predator, who finished pretty well in the first one. So, all, all marbles to keep your eye on in this one. As we get going, it is Make Swift, followed by Swirl Away. And Mocha also up in the... Uh, dancing with the top for a little while. Make Swift had an early lead in the last one and actually flubbed the lead down to fourth by the end of that race. This time, maybe he'll be able to maintain the lead. He's a fast marble, and this is a course built for his kind of abilities. Let's see if he can take it. Oh, Predator taking that huge outside line there around the Muller corner and loses a bunch of spots. Eh, he's going to be all the way down in 11th here. Make Swift. Who's going to challenge Make Swift? Minty Hybrid making a run for it. Nudged forward a little bit by Swirly and Swirl Away, who were locked together in a swirl of commotion. Swirly mm, almost got around Minty Hybrid there, but who could not do the marble booster kind of uh, re stratified them. Look at that pinball that, that even Billiards played between Swirl Away and Minty Hybrid on Swirly himself. And now Swirly will grab the lead here, running around the outside of that Muller corner. But still a lot of room to catch up to Make Swift. Make Swift up by about five lengths here. Taking every turn really smoothly here. Going in and out. Struggles through that turn right there. But still a lot of room to work with. And uh, it's the two Swirls. Right behind. Swirl Gang if you want to start that. I haven't seen much Blue Marble Gang so far in this one. A couple Blue Marbles here. But not prominent. So maybe Swirl Gang... The one-two punch of swirls is uh, uh, the focus of today. Ooh, Make Swift trying to dodge in and out, trying to put the block on. Swirly can't get around. He had so much time to do so. Make Swift rattles up through that first stretch from the Marble Booster. Still maintains the lead. Up by a length, but Swirly finds the line in the middle. And now he's up by a little bit. Through lap six here. And the leads has changed once again, Make Swift. Let's hope he can at least keep second place, maybe even fight back to first. Last time it was disastrous once he was finally passed, and this time not looking so good. You can see the speed just drop from Make Swift after he was passed there. Just maybe a mental game for him. And let's take a look at some of the other marbles. Luminous down there, Limeline not giving the best performance, unfortunately, as well. 
but it's Swirly. Swirly by a long shot. Makeswift's got no chance to catch up here through lap eight. Swirl away, also coming up on Makeswift, who could use a second place here, so oh, hopefully he takes a smaller corner well, but it will be Swirly. By quite a bit. 229.69. The heats get better and better. Gold Rush and Rainbow Racer still maintain second and third in that top three. Makeswift wasn't fast enough. Probably has more 231 or 32. Still a good performance and puts himself in position to possibly uh, take back the top two in the future. Swirl away also there in third. Guara Limeline. Good to see him jump at least to fifth. And it's still a game between most of these marbles. 229.69. What a finish for Swirly. Swirly sitting in ninth right now, so that uh, puts him in a good spot. Heat D, last heat. This is going to be 14. We got Zebra in there, one of my personal favorites. Trixie, I think we saw her last season. Turbo Turtle as well. Lights will all light up here, all four of them, and we will be rolling in Heat D. Sea Falcon in here. Sea Falcon, of course, being the protege of the Racing Marble League. Come tryouts this so far. Really dominated last time. Overall time of 427. Um, on the course, and uh, two seconds even faster than second place. Let's see if he can pull that off again. Right now, sitting down. Well, he's up to fifth now, so he's working his way through. And you can see him burn the inside of that Muller corner and almost get around Ultimatum. And I think that pass is going to happen soon. But right now, it's Emerald Dragon. Marble, we have not really been able to talk about so much. Ultimatum also jumping a second. Zebra holding in there as well as they slow down towards the end of this lap. Emerald Dragon looking to the outside. Ultimatum can't get around. Thought he had it through the inside, but Emerald Dragon cut back just in time to put more of a side block on even, but uh, side block is more of a 50-50 block, but it worked in his favor. And, of course, Zebra working in there as well, just looking for that time to strike, to run right through the center of him. See Falcon? Struggling a little bit, still back at six, and not a lot of time to make moves here. We're in lap four already. Emerald Dragon still staying up there at first. We can look at some of the marbles in the back there. Mysterio not looking good. Buddy Pear as well not looking too hot. And, uh, well, Turbo Turtle, I would expect some more from him as well. At least Trixie's up there in fourth. But uh, some of the veterans really, um, uh, at least, I don't even know if we can call them veterans. Maybe just last year's performers. The returning marbles. You would expect a little bit more from their skill set. They had a little bit more experience. They know what kind of track is coming their way, but uh, still just, eh, these rookies are coming out hot this year. Emerald Dragon, you know, pinballing through that uh, little uh, sidewinder of a track piece there and coming to, ooh, Ultimatum right on his tail there. He had to lap seven, Ultimatum! Oh, does not come inside there quick enough. Still tailing Emerald Dragon. It's a short gap between the two. Zebra finding a chance to get back in there as well. And uh, hmm, Emerald Dragon continues to hold off, even through that hesitation on the Muller corner. Ultimatum coming out strong, and Emerald Dragon's back to third. Final lap, he finally falls, and it looks like Ultimatum's going to run away with this one. 222-23, this might be a record in time here. Can he beat 229? Well, definitely not. Ultimatum, come across, take first place, but still be down a few seconds on the overall leader. Swirly, Gold Rush, Rainbow Racer, your top three and deserving of those spots. Zebra holding second. Emble Dragon took a dip there at the end. Sea Falcon in fifth. That might shake up the standings a little bit when we get that overall board. As the clock runs out, 231.81. Can't sneeze at that time. Most marbles doing quite worse than that, but still, Heat D was a little bit of a slower heat. Get to see the final results here. See Sea Falcon still holding first place by a second. And you see two um, names there highlighted. Sea Falcon and Swirly on the hot seat to jump the championship league. Limeline, Blue Falcon, Rainbow Racer still in it. Either in, all the way down to Turbo Turtle. Still in the game within that 7-10 uh, margin. Make Swift even might have a shot. And that will bring things to a close here at the Racing Marble League for this week. Two more tryouts to go to decide which two rookies are going to jump right into the fray uh, with Crimson Lady here in the Championship League, which will come right after these four tryouts. See you next time.